Hey guys, gonna give you a few more tips about rink maintenance. Uh, the kids have been out here and you can see there's quite a bit of snow that's built up from them skating. The ice isn't in terrible condition, but uh, I swept up anyway. You can see how much cleaner it comes. It actually looks like they could get out and skate again, but I hadn't really done a good, good flood on it quite yet. So uh, there's a lot of air bubbles here that have popped already. I've taken a, a chisel. Giant ice, ice chisel scraper and broken up some of these these holes. I'll be able to fill them in either with the flood that I'm going to do tonight or with the uh, with some snow afterwards. So I'll try to get things a little smoother out here. So a good sweep before you flood anytime is always a good idea because you get a much smoother finish. You don't get all these bumps. Takes a little extra time to sweep it off, but if you get a nice, good, thick broom, nice wide one, it usually makes all the world of a difference. So now I've knocked all the air bubbles out. I'm starting to fill them, the, the holes now with water. Um, I, I'm gonna come out and flood tonight and uh, try to make it a little smoother on the entire ice surface, but uh, you, you gotta knock all the air bubble and knock all the ice out of there. So you can leave a little bit. You can see there's some white there still, but I've made this uh, banana freeze jug. Just rinsed it out and put a bunch of drill holes in it so I don't dump it as quite as much, but you can see, go ahead and fill this. And I'm gonna fill the cracks. And then even though these cracks might not fill up all the way to the top, at least it'll give them a good base to work with here. And probably there's a few air bubbles I've missed. You can see those skates didn't punch through, so they'll probably be all right. I don't know if probably get in there. But, uh, if, if you don't clean out all the, the ice out of the air holes, it never really freezes properly. So I'll touch base in a bit once I get, uh, get flooding in. Well, finally got the kids to bed and uh, getting a flood on the rink. These uh, spots seem to be clearing up half decent. I was gonna videotape flooding, but the water comes out of there so quick that uh, it only took me about 10 minutes to flood it, which is a far cry from when we I used to do the puddle out behind our house way back there. Uh, two hours to flood it. It's a lot more water pressure because of shorter hose, only uh, 50 feet instead of 300 feet. And it's a lot smaller area, 20 by 40 as opposed to 120 by oh, 50 or 60 feet. So yeah, a quick flood and uh, might even be able to come back out and do another quick one. But I'm pretty exhausted today. The kids are out. I was out today. Anyways, yeah, here's the uh, the rink rake. Bunch of holes drilled in PVC. I should try to do a, a video on that. Maybe I'll link it. There's the adapter to the hose. A valve for water flow control so I don't have to run back to the to the main house. But now before all this water in the hose freezes and the outside tap freezes, I'm gonna let you guys go and get all that undone, defrosted. Shut it off in the house, run back outside, open it up, let it drain, so the next time I turn it on it'll it won't be frozen. <laughs> 